の命いただいたわ無駄な努力をやめたわ降参しなさい降参しなさい Hi everyone, welcome to another showcase and guide video. Today we are going to cover the richest person in Tebat, Ningguang. I have always told everyone in my channel that I really think that Ningguang was meant to be a 5 star. But not everyone in Liyue can be a 5 star and that is why she is a 4 star. Before anything else, I want to say Happy New Year to everyone and to my fellow Filipinos out there. Manigong bagong taon! I would like to remind all of you that 90% of you are not subscribed. Before the end of 2022, I have a personal goal of 10,000 subscribers and tell my mama that I made it as a YouTuber. With that, let's jump in to the video. We will be reviewing Ningguang's kit, constellation, and artifact sets. Her kit revolves around her normal attack. Now upon hit, it grants you a star jade which enables her passive backup plan. Which allows you to not consume a stamina when you do a star when you do a charge attack with Star Jade. The Star Jades are the rocks that are floating around your back. An example of this is that when you hit an enemy, which now you see the Star Jades around your back, and then you use charge attack. So the optimal rotation is like that. Now, the problem with Ningguang is that her normal attack is really slow. So the way to make it faster is to walk cancellation. Now, this is the normal attack. And this is the walk cancellation. As you can see, it is literally faster. So now, Ningguang feels a little bit clunky sometimes as her normal attack animations can vary, which sometimes allow your next charge attack to be slower or faster. But being a Ningguang main for the past year here in my F2P account, I just really I just really got used to it. Like, for example, and then sometimes she's, she's, she's gonna spin and then makes it makes the charge attack kind of slow but I just got used to it to be honest with that we covered the complicated part of her kit first skill it summons a jade screen that allows to block projectiles it is a niche skill but you don't use her for that as you use it to pass through the jade screen to gain a 12% geo damage because of her ascension passive strategic reserve her burst Star Shatter allows you to have a big nook damage and to top that off, her energy cost is only 40. But it is mostly single target, but the damage is insane. Also, as you can see in the description, if if Burst is cast with Jade Screen, the Jade Screen will fire additional 3 gems. So you almost always have to use skill first, then use your Burst. Use the skill and then... So that is the optimal rotation. And lastly, she is really useful for farming ores as she is as she shows it on the map if she is in your party. With that, let's go to her constellation. The most overhyped constellation is constellation 1 because of the AoE, but actually it doesn't really give you a power spike. Her most fun constellation is constellation 2. Because every time Jade Screen is destroyed, its CD will reset and this can occur once every 6 seconds. So after you do your rotation of using skill and then pass through the Jade Screen, then use your burst, you can use your skill again because it resets the cooldown. Now this is a demo as we have a Jade Screen right now and then we, when we use the Jade Screen again, then we can use it again. And then you can have a double Jade Screen. It increases your damage drastically, but not but not a solid power spike. Her constellation 3 increases her burst, and her constellation 4 is the most useless constellation I have ever seen, which increases elemental resistance by 10% when Jade Screen is in the field. And C5 increases Jade Screen level, and then her best constellation, which is constellation 6. When Star Shatter is used, Ningguang gains 7 Star Jades, which is an easy 100k damage. Though the Star Jade disappear once you switch characters, so make sure that you use Charge Attack right after your burst. For the artifact set, there is really no dedicated artifact sets for Ningguang. Ningguang artifact set is mostly flexible depending on your playstyle. In my case, I have two-piece Petra, 
And then after the two-piece Petra, basically anything else you can use. Gladiator, Noblesse. Now I use Noblesse plus Petra. It's because of the way I play her. I play her with a quick swap team. The way I play her is kind of a burst support. Support as her normal attack for me is really clunky in a way. Now, farming archaic Petra domain is not resin e efficient, and I don't recommend it. If you've been farming the energy set, you can use a two-piece Shimenawa set and a two-piece Gladiator, because it enhances all Ningguang's kit. The four-piece Shimenawa is viable, but mostly if you are going to stay on the field and use your charge attack most of the time. I personally don't like Shimenawa as it takes away 15 energy and that kind of that kind of ruins the rotation for me, so I don't use it in any team comps. For weapons, I am currently using a Lost Prayer because I got it by wishing. Though the passive of Lost Prayer is really not good with my playstyle as I mainly use Ningguang as a burst support. Now, the all-around weapon is the Skyward Atlas. For me, the best in slot weapon is the Skyward Atlas. But you have to have good artifacts for you to utilize for you to be able to utilize the Skyward Atlas. But with Lost Prayer, it gives you a lot of crit rate so you can have a balance ratio. Uh, Memory of Dust is also good, but I think it is far the worst 5-star catalyst compared to the two catalysts that I mentioned earlier. For 4-star option, the best is the Widsith and the Solar Pearl. You can also use the Dodoko Tails as the damage is competitive with Solar Pearl. Eye of Perception is good and the last one is the Frost Bear Catalyst, which is really good as well. For team comps, I am currently using 2 Geo and 2 Pyro for both Pyro Resonance and Geo Resonance. Because there is really no way to amplify Geo damage because Geo as an element relies on pure stats. So the only way to amplify it is at least for me Spyro Resonance and Geo Resonance. This is a team that is centered around Ning Guang. Now Yanfei is uh, mostly swapped by uh, Shangling here. Pardon, yeah. Now Albedo Geo Traveler, you can use Albedo here. Albedo, Geo Traveler, Zhongli works really good with Ningguang. A triple Geo setup is also viable. With that, as a Ningguang main, I absolutely love her. With the current Abyss making Geo really strong, she is a really viable option. However, there is no problem for Ningguang as a character, at least for me. But the problem is that she is Geo. And Geo as an element, again, I'm going to say, say this again, relies on raw stats. And there is no way to amplify Geo damage except for Fire Resonance, Bennett, Mona Ult, Trailing Tales of Dragon, Zhongli Shield. Point is, it's really limited. Ningguang's power spike, and also Ningguang's power spike cannot be felt until C6. I have been using Ningguang ever since the start of the game, and it was when, it was when I was able to C6 her... It was then that I felt the power spike. Oh my god, Ningguang. Okay, with that, if you made... Mm. With that, if you made it until the end of this video, thanks for watching. If you like the content, consider liking and subscribing as it really helps with the algorithm. Have a good day.